You know, at first glance, it might look like this robot's having some issues, but really it's working just as it should be. To understand what's going on here, we're gonna need to talk about the difference between incremental and absolute encoders. Incremental and absolute encoders can both be used to measure distance, speed, acceleration, and position of a component in a mechanical system. The key difference is what happens if that system has a loss of power. After a power interruption, an incremental encoder is not going to be able to identify the exact position of an encoder disk until it finds the index or home position. Which is what this Delta robot is doing now. That being said, not all encoders have an index position. If it doesn't, position can't be determined. Absolute encoders can report the exact position of a disk at all times, even if power has been lost and restored. Let's get into how that works and how it compares to incremental encoders. Incremental encoder disks have a series of lines and windows on them that are used to help measure movement. If the encoder loses power, the system loses track of where the disk is in its rotation because each set of lines and the space between them is identical to the next. Absolute optical encoders can use similar technology as incremental encoders. Our absolute encoder disks use variable width lines that create a pattern, kind of like a barcode, to identify a unique position on the disk. Other manufacturers may use multiple bands to create a unique pattern for each spot on the disk. So if you're designing a sys... What the... Another one? Guys, we got Ready, kid? Yeah, yep. Let's go! Line! 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 Let's say that Steve here represents a photo detector and his binoculars represent his field of view. Blue shirt, red shirt, black shirt, gray shirt, blue shirt, red shirt, black shirt, gray shirt. The encoder reports data when light is blocked or received by the sensor and uses that information to report back to the system, represented by Connor here, who uses that data to report on speed, direction, or position. I got 18 degrees. Sorry, kids, it just said that I got five more lines. So, as I was saying, if you're designing a system and it's important to know the exact position even after power has been lost and restored, you're going to want to go with an absolute encoder. If absolute position isn't important or the system has flexibility to reposition itself after loss of power, you'll be fine with an incremental encoder. Have more questions? Leave a comment below or reach out to us directly.